Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. My name is CK and my channel is Psychology. And today is a very special day because I am in the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Langong Valley. Langong Valley is situated about an hour northwest of Ipoh. And this valley is a World Heritage Site since 2012. Why it is designated as World Heritage Site is because they found ancient complete bones, 11,000 years old bones that are so complete. So this is the oldest complete skeleton ever found in Malaysia. His name is Baratman, I'll tell you more about that. There are 65 caves here in Langong to cover and I'm going to cover a few today. I am so excited because this has been in my bucket list for such a long time. And this area has been inhabited almost continuously for 2 million years, which means Langong Valley is like the oldest continuous inhabited area for human being outside of the continent of Africa. So this has caused a sensation among the archaeological society. So today I'm going to explore ancient, ancient valley of Langong. My guy Alan is here. Very excited. Let's go. Okay, this is the stop for Bukit Jawa Paleolithic Workshop. And this is an important archaeologic site representing an ancient terrace on the west bank of Sungai Pera. This site, which is a quarter of quarter of a million, quarter of a million years old, and this is where many artifacts were found: anvil scores, hammer stone, chopper, flick tools, and debitage. Ah, yeah, ni lah so these are the caves that we're going to go and this is Bukit Jawa and this is where they found uh, the place where they actually have a workshop and, and, and build stuff. Oh! Dua penjara itu penjara uh, Titi Wangsa. Ya. Yeah. Itu penjara Titi Wangsa. Uh -huh. Aha. Sana tadi yang kita pergi tadi penjara bintang. Hmm. Penjara bintang hijau. Bintang dan Titi Wangsa. Uh, itu pasal lenggong ni di gelar sebagai lembah. Dia diapik oleh dua penjara besar. Hmm. So this is Gajang K. This is this is the foothill now, and these are the tools that they found. So here we go. This is uh, Gua Gajang, <laughs> and there's lots and lots of leeches. You really need like headlights. It's very dark. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Time they actually transport uh, stone, a limestone to come out, uh, you know, export limestone for the British. And this is their passage. So this, this is where uh, the British used to transport the limestone uh, for their own use. And oh, there's, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people writing here. Um, so before UNESCO time, people used to um, write their names here. It's neat. So there are three caves here, Putri, Asa, and Ngaum. And this, is, this pathway is newly built. The, the the door 
This is so squeezy. <laughs> and it's what you see. Ooh. Oh, wow. So, any gua na mapa? Oh, this is asa. Look at that. Jumper. Espa Escafasi. So this is Asal Cave and they also are doing some sort of excavation work here. Oh wow. There's a lot of oh, there's a lot of space here and there, which you can like kind of make a room. Oh 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 the snake skin. It is all water from here because it rained last night. So <laughs> step here. <gasps> oh. oh, so we're putting uh, we're putting some uh, fireworks to signal our arrival. Uh, like signal, signal lah. Ah, yeah, signal. Ah! Wow, it is. <laughs> it is signal. We are supposed to put like they say it puts a signal, but it, you hear that right? It's not a signal. It's a bomb. Oh, Ellen! <laughs> this is horrible. Okay. Not as bad as I thought, but it's like very <laughs> watery all the way. Made the huge mistake of wearing shorts. I also don't know why. I mean, usually I wear long pants, but I don't know why today I decided to wear short, which is like a very bad idea because some of the trees are poisonous. So Ellen is, oh, nice flower. So Ellen is trying to uh, cut off all the bushes so that I don't get poisoned by the trees. So if you come to Langong, don't wear shorts. You have to wear long pants. And of course, there's lots of lots of leeches. I saw lots of leeches. So always, uh, if you have the leech socks, that would be the best. No. You can give a signal to some people. Oh! This is like a signal. Wow! It's a big sound. It can go 4 km. Oh! So if you're lost, you make this kind of sound. Oh, what the f other waterfall? So, ini ini tempat ada jumpa apa apa? Hmm. Mangko ah. Okay. So that's the that's how it looks like. <laughs> it's pretty freaky. I say the shape of the cave is very eerie. Water. Look at that. Ngam Cave. And Ngam Cave was named Ngam because of the local called the Black Panther Ngam. Black Panthers are found around here quite often, so they named this Ngam Cave. It looks really, really cool. Wow. Okay, mm. Snake cave looks pretty ancient. Gosh, look at that. Wow. Nice. Wow. 
Wow. Look at that. Huh? Ini apa tu? Ah! I have to be. I have to be super super quiet. There are thousands of thousands and thousands of bats hovering above me. I have to be super quiet not to disturb them because it's their sleepy time. Okay. Lubang, lubang. God. This is incredible limestone structure. Okay, it is very tight. Mm, it's very tight. Look at that. Oh, bats, bats, bats. They're still building more and more. Dripping water. Ooh, it stinks. Pentas. Mana itu pentas? Pentas. Dia gua ni sebab dia panjang. Oh. Ataupun dia panggil ini gua GTK2. GBK2. GTK. Teluk It... Kelawar. Gua Teluk Kelawar 2. Nice. This is very nice tunnel. It's very Instagrammable. Oh my God. Look at that. Ini dah dia orang jumpa pada umum. And we are at Guatelo Kelawar, and this is where they find found a pada woman, and she's eight thousand years old. So she's about three thousand years younger than pada men. So this is where they found her, and along with her possession, like tools and stuff. Really amazing. And Bear Out Woman, she was the only person found in this burial site. The only person found. Um, her skeleton very well preserved, 8,000 years old. And she was buried with a lot of her stuff possessions, mostly tools that people use at the time. Um, but it's kind of cool that she was the only person found in this site. Uh, she must have been a very important person. I mean, kind of like a princess, maybe. And she's 8,000 years old. And it really proves that the history of Malaysia goes way back than what we thought originally. Look at that. This is Ula Gongo. This is Ula Gongo. Oh my god, it's huge. So, Guarun Tola Haini. Guarun Tola Haini. Guarun Tola Okay, you pergi masuk dalam dulu tak apa. You duduk atas tu nanti you buat. Oh, that is the cave where they found Bera Man. Oh my god. Wow. Wah, tempat ini boleh tinggal orang lah. <laughs> it's just this is quite huge. It's bigger than what I thought it would be. So that's where they found Bear Man. 
the complete skeleton that is 11,000 years old. That was the only skeleton found here. And he was about 154 centimeter high and he's about 50 years old, which was like very, very old at the time. People only live until like in the 20s, those Paleolithic world. And his skeleton was of course 11,000 years old, they estimate. And when he was found, he's, he's, he, he was like crouched. Uh, his two legs was crouched upside. He was found with a lot of burial artifact as well. His hand was holding something as well. So they think he's uh, someone who's important. Of course, was the biggest archaeological find here in Malaysia because no, no older bones or skeletons were found since then. And they're still excavating. Right, Alan? They are, they are around, they are around Masay Jarikan. So they're still excavating these caves, 65 of them, and only nine, Semilan Gan, only nine of them have uh, traces of human uh, settlement. And there's still more to discover because there are so many other caves that hasn't been like properly excavated. It's quite a treacherous trail all the way up to see uh, the burial place of Berat Men. And one fun fact is the museum is actually closed, but one fun fact is the Malaysian government actually gave Berat Men uh, an identity card. And all Malaysian has like four digits of identity card number. And his number was 001. And usually our birth date Birth, the year of our birth usually is the first two digit and Berat Man's first digit I think it's like negative zero one or something like that very interesting and that makes him the oldest Malaysian ever lived that has a document proper document that he exists as a Malaysian and that's what the Malaysian government gave to uh, Berat Man I'm super satisfied today that I got so much out of this trip you need you need permission to come in here um so you need a guide you can't come here alone uh, you can um, dm me uh for alan's uh contact i think this this is really i think every malaysian should come here and realize that our histories are not what we think they are thoroughly enjoy this experience i hope you come here to langong there's lots of other activities, there are campsites, there are rivers where you can see all the nice waterfall and not to mention hiking from Bera Men's and Bera Women's uh, burial place. I say goodbye to you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!